we're going to call this a, just a little sunshine to blow up your butt production. Peace. Here's the real deal. I dare somebody to debunk this. And if you're going to debunk it, you better have some proof. I'm looking at this house bill right now. And it's no good. It is absolutely no good. This is not what we want. Um, at the end of this, you know, if, if you want, send me, pri private message me, send me your email address. I will send you a copy of just half the bill hit, li uh, hit list on things that they're doing. And I can also send you a link to the bill itself so that you can download the PDF. Let's start off with, I'm just going to give you a random sampling. Uh, let's start off with uh, page 29. Lines 4 through 16. Annual limitation. The cost sharing incurred under the essential benefits package with respect to an individual or family for a year does not exceed the applicable level specified in subparagraph B. Applicable level. The applicable level specified in this subparagraph for year one is $5,000 for an individual and $10,000 for a family. Such levels shall be increased rounded to the nearest 100 for each subsequent year by the annual percentage increase in the consumer price index. United States City Average, applic applicable to such year. Pretty much, your health care is going to be rationed. Tell me that ain't so. Let's go to page 58. And let's see. Okay. Starting with line 5. Enable the real time or near real time determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service and to the extent possible prior to service, including whether the ind individual is eligible for a specific service with a specific s physician at a specific facility which may include utilization of a machine readable health plan beneficiary identification card. They're going to have real-time access to your finances and you're going to have a national ID card. No. Uh, Page 59 goes on even talking more about this. They will have access to your finances. I'm sorry. No. No. Let's skip to page 127. Okay, and uh, lines 1 through 16 on this bill. Physicians, the Secretary shall provide for the annual participation of physicians under the public health insurance option for which payment may be made for services furnished during the year in one of two classes. Preferred physicians, those physicians who agree to accept the payment rate established under Section 223 without regard to cost sharing as the payment in full, and participating non-preferred physicians, those physicians who agree not to impose charges in relation to the uh, payment rate described in Section 223 for such, phys for, for such physicians that ex exceed the ratio permitted under, the, under Section 1848G2C of the Social Security Act. No, 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 no. 
145. That one pretty much was telling the physicians what they will make. Do you realize what that will do to the health care? People are not going to want to go into the field. Doctors are not going to get paid. There is going to be no incentive for them to try to cure you, pretty much. Page 145, lines 15 through 17. Auto-enrollment of employees. The employer provides for auto-enrollment of the employees in accordance with subsection C. Full-time employees. The minimum employer contribution described in this subsection for coverage for full-time employee and, if any, the employee's spouse and qualified children, blah, 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 uh, under a qualified health benefits plan is equal to in case of individual coverage, not less than 72.5% of the ap applicable premium. Uh, the employer has no choice. They have to put you into the public option plan. 167. I'm just doing one more. I just, I'm keeping this very short. Um, if, if you want this, again, send me PM me with your email address. I will make sure it's kept secured and you will get this. Uh, page 167, 18. Tax on individuals without acceptable health care coverage. They're mandating that you will have it whether you want it or not. Tax imposed in the case of any individual who does not meet the requirements of subsection D at any time during the taxable year, there, there is hereby imposed a tax equal to 2.5% of the excess of, one, the taxpayer's modified adjusted growth income for the taxable year over the amount of gross income specified in section 6012 a1 with respect to the taxpayer you don't have if they feel you don't have enough coverage or proper coverage you're going to get taxed you know it gets uglier and uglier and uglier I mean I skipped over a lot of pages there and I tell you what I got this far yesterday and I was livid <coughs> Uh, this email covers uh, about 500 pages of this thousand page document it's no good it's not good it's no people get a hold of your congressman your senators everybody let local newspapers know please feel free to mirror this this has got to stop this bill is no good. All right, folks, I'm done ranting for now. This is the old gray wolf. Peace.